Hey everybody, it's Nosvanu. I just kind of wanted to do this podcast and uh, tell everyone how I'm thinking and what I'm thinking about right now. I actually had this great conversation with a uh, friend of mine recently. And it's more so about kind of the depression I'm going through right now. Now, it's not like, oh, I'm going to kill myself, blah, 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 and like life is meaningless kind of bullshit. It's just... I've grown up in the 90s, born in 87, but I grew up in the 90s, and uh, I always had this predisposition to like, you work hard, you get what you want, you know, grow up, do good in school, behave, get a degree, get your job. That's not the society today. But the thing is, is that I accomplished it anyway. Is I did. But here's the thing, is that my goals were short-sighted. Because I got there. And then I'm stuck now. Because I don't know what I want. I really don't. Like, nothing is satisfying. What is it that I want? Is that my whole life, I was building up to do good, get a good job, and that's it. Now, I've tried my hand at romance, don't get me wrong, but in the end, it's all kind of fruitless. Especially in today's society. There's not the intimate experience that you used to have where you meet people in public anymore. Now it's all like... Uh, Tinder and eHarmony and meetme.com and all that jazz. So, I had a thought today. Because this friend of mine, who is a friend of my mom, is 50 years old. But we speak on similar terms because we're just... Well, I suppose similar souls like that. And even though I digress with his experience, he tells me that I understand it better than most people his age can. And what that is, is that the humility know that you really don't know what life is about. And no matter how old you get, you can't really make that decision. And be your 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, it doesn't matter. Life is always changing. And you know what? I'm glad. And he told me something that my father would say. Is that... Let me see, what was it? Yes. When you were a, a baby, you were learning how to walk. How many times did you fail before you learned how to walk? Fell down how many times? Did you ever give up? No. What's impeding you is your mind. Your sense of failure and your sense of self-worth is impeding your ability to learn. To move forward. And it's absolutely true. And I realize that. But for me, it's a sense of want. What do I want out of life? Do I want to be said? Do I want more money? No. Money is a tool. Excuse me by dealing with this bitch. But seriously. Oh, there's a puppy. Oh, oh God. No, 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 serious talk. Puppies are everywhere. <laughs> In any case. The point of the matter is, is that it's all in your head. The greatest barriers we have ever had to face is our own self-defeat. And I realize that now. And it's so humbling to know that there's always someone out there that knows more than me. No matter what it is. That's why I hate perfection. It's like, it's perfect. This is perfect. Everything is perfect. No. If you perfect something, 
There's no room for growth. It's complete bullshit. I hate that. It's garbage. Don't give me that. What I want is something to improve upon. Everything can be made better. When I was in college, I was set upon and told many times that my, my work was garbage. And you know what? I rose to the challenge. And I made it happen! My proudest achievement was I had two classes that were coinciding. And they told me I could do both at once. And I did. And it had nothing to do with my sense of want. Or love. Or anything like that. One sec. I need to live. Oh, you fucking asshole. Well, I'm dead. Anyways, it's about how you feel about yourself. No matter what you feel or what you think, the fact of the matter is, is that you can do what you whatever you want to do. Your mind, your ability to hinder yourself is really your greatest enemy. It's not society, it's not the government, it's not the president, it's not his policy, policies or whatever the fuck, it's you. I always make this analogy. Do you have a choice? If someone puts a gun to your head and says do something, do you have a choice? The answer is yes, you do. A lot of people would say no. The fact of the matter is, is that you have the decision. He's not possessing you. You have the choice to move forward and resist. How many movies have you seen where, like, that's been an issue and then they move the moment the killer blinks, disarms the bad guy, and breaks his neck? Be that person! Fuck yeah! Well, in any case, I I'm going to stop the video here. That's really all I want to get across. It's just something I was feeling very strongly about today, and uh, I just want to share. Also, I am a vampire, and I am also adorable. You do that. That being said, that's what I'm signing out. Take care.